I've heard a story, although not sure if it's true, that a bunch of kids approached Argentinian writer Jorge Luis Borges and uh, asked him to join the revolution. Borges asked them, well, do you have a flag? Yes, we do, they responded proudly. Then it's not my kind of revolution, concluded Borges. My name is Alexander Sasha Babich and I'm a painter. I suppose I'm a painter of symbols, symbols of everyday life, my life, also the symbols of strife, discontent, nationalism, and all other isms. More than anything else, it always fascinated me how one symbol, a flag, for example, could mean so many different things to a variety of people. The same flag can be a symbol of hope and hopelessness, love and hate, salvation and genocide. Also, the same flag can be a symbol for great achievement and also a cover-up for scoundrels and murderers. When I've heard a story about Borges, I wondered what kind of revolution can be without a flag? Perhaps a revolution of a mind.